So my inspiration about cooking is really just taking Mother Nature's ingredients and really just highlighting them. I am seafood focused. I grew up fishing in Long Island, you know, with my family. So I do gravitate towards like really taking things out of the ocean and making them shine the best. Just like our king crab we have in the menu here, live flown in from Norway, keeping it as super fresh as possible while elevated and highlighting it, such as adding like this mustard seed oil, you know, light herbs. It's really making that ingredient pop. So when you know when we approached the duet, we wanted to take things from the ocean that are really big, bold, and wow, but also how we can just elevate. You know, if you look at Miami's dining, there's a lot of show, show, show without the flavor to back it up. A lot of inspiration goes into how can we take the best of the best of the best without destroying it, still letting it be what it is. And that, you know, a lot of that goes back to my background. I spent most of my career, you know, staging in three-star Michelin restaurants. They're all ingredient driven and that's always stuck to me and helped me define my cuisine. So one of, I think, my signature dishes here at WET is our lobster properdel. We have this beautiful pasta extruder here and I source lobster tamale. Some people call it roe. So we take that and we put that into the pasta dough and it turns the dough a really dark, not so pleasant looking green. And because the extruder warms up when it's extruding it, it actually starts cooking it. And so it goes from green dough out the extruder to this light orangey noodle. We're using this Carrera Wagyu out of Australia, braising that for six hours till it's really tender, taking that cooking liquid, emulsifying that with a tarragon butter. Unlike your typical, everybody does a filet and a lobster tail, this is taking the two ingredients and really combining them and making them just pop. So our salmon crudo here, so we're taking koji and we're curing the salmon for about six hours. So we're taking these candied kumquats, we're making a salad of pickled cucumbers, avocado, mizuna, smoked oil, lemon oil, and then this minus eight vinegar. And just taking that, putting that on the plate, and each bite you get a little bit of the salad, a little bit of the salmon, and it just elevates that fish. You know, I tell a lot of young chefs that when they're starting out in their career, Really just put your head down, stop worrying about titles. If you can, don't worry about the money too much. The money will always come, the titles will always come. Learn as much as you can. And I did that and most of my career was spent working a full-time job and then staging it full-time, just learning and absorb as much knowledge on cuisine as you can and then the rest will come.